steel tote. I didn't want that. I seen them. I did try them on. I didn't like them. So the next day, the very next day, that morning, I went to the pawn shop down the road. They had eight pairs of different kinds of boots, some rough condition, some not so bad. And I told him, look, I've got X amount of dollars. Can I get a pair of boots? I'm trying to get them for work. I just, you know, this and that. And they told me that used pair. I mean, what there's You're nothing. Telling me, hold on a minute. You're telling me now. Hold on, man. You're telling me that a pawn a pawn shop sells used boots. They don't even take uh, DVDs and uh, VCR tapes anymore. Why would they take some old used shoes unless there's some Jordans worth a, a couple grand? You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. Pawn shop don't sell boots, buddy. I'm trying to be as nice as possible with you, man. And you keep on lying. You need to uh, think about stuff before you get on here and lie, man. Because let me ask you this. How do you know? How do you know I'm lying? Just because pawn shops where you're at don't take them doesn't mean every pawn shop in the world doesn't take them. Because I brother owns a several they, chain they, of pawn shops and they do not accept you shoes, period. Yeah, because it, it, you're it, right. it's a health it's a health hazard. The health you're right. department a lot of places you have to go don't. through the health department. A lot of places don't, but yes, you can call them up and they will they will they now I will say it's not just a it's not your everyday normal pawn shop. They mainly just deal with precious metals like gold and silver and jewelry strap. And they also have a part where they do ice cream and candy and sell candy and stuff. But yes, yeah, they they have boots in there. I, I can go live. I'll go by there one day and go live and show you. Bro. And then I want you to apologize for calling me a fucking liar. I will apologize, but you just told me they're selling uh, ice cream and candy in there too. So they must yes, have a, uh, they must have a license a, from the health a, department to do that. You see what I'm saying? That's a, what I'm saying. They don't yeah, sell it's, 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 material, it's, it's, man. That's what I just. If you listen, it's a. It, I'm not going to say the name of it, but it's a mercantile, or however you even pronounce that word. Gold, silver boots, and ice cream. They. Specialized. The main thing they deal with is gold and silver jewelry, coins, stuff like that. But what is it? They, a in gym? The back, in, no, 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 no. I didn't say nothing about a gym. Okay. Well, every pawn shop that I've ever heard of don't sell no candy and no ice cream, and they damn sure don't sell used shoes people put on their feet. They sell that, used that, tools. That's why I just said it's not an it's not an oral, it's not a actual pawn shop. I've gone in there and I've gave them jewelry. And said, hey, I need to borrow $100 on this. And they'll say, no, I'll give you 40 or whatever. It has been years ago. But no, hold on. Before, I got to think of one I can go, go on that side of town when I'm not busy. I'm not doing nothing Saturday. So Saturday, I'll go over there and I'll go live. And please make sure that you come in because I want to show you where they sell boots. Use boot. Okay, here, here's my other thing. That guy that you're running with, uh, you know, Which he one? got on your live that day, and you said, I need to find a bottle to put him in. And, I mean, you just told on yourself, dude. And, and you was so far getting into the phone when people sent you money, and your whole attitude changed like you were excited or something. Well, yeah, but that has nothing to do with drugs. People assume. There's one guy I've made a screen recording and said, look, he's bought drugs because he said one thing. That okay, your buddy, do- your buddy has what? a GoFundMe for a car, and it sure is funny how you got a car in January off of TikTok no, followers. No. He's got a he GoFundMe go- for a car to get a job. He ain't trying to get a job either because he probably can't work near a schoolhouse. You see what I'm saying? Wait, he, he's an S.O. He's a sex he has a go. He has a GoFundMe? I didn't even know that. And he's called a child too. He's also assaulted a child. What? Are you kidding me? Yeah, it's it's public information, man. Yeah, that guy you're running with, know. Kyle. He ain't yeah. no good cat to be around. The guy you said was around kids the other night, yeah. and I knew for a fact that was a lie because any woman that allow that man around her kids after he sexually assaulted a kid is, is that's crazy, man. He was at Mac- yeah, he was at McDonald's. That that was the night I went up there, and he was there with his girlfriend and her sister and their kids. So yeah, but that had nothing to do with me. Anyway, I, I didn't know that. Well. that. That that that's something I didn't I didn't even know. I like I said, I didn't know. So I will go, go now. To now that you've said that, now that you've said that, I'm going to go do my own research and see if I can find out the truth about it. 
Well, because it's not you're hard, right. man. You're right. You're right. People like that are not good. They got no. I, I have no respect for anybody that well, had that. You put his whole face on your live. You had him hold your phone and stay on your live trying to get more money while you ran and met somebody or checked the mail. I don't know how you checked the mail. I didn't, I, didn't tell him to, I didn't tell him to get money. I did not say for him to get money. I said, keep my life going. I'll be back. I went down to use the bathroom. We're okay. I'm home. So I got to go to the gas station or the store, the down the road, Walgreens. I have to go places to do number two. You know, you can't just do it on the side of the road or in the bushes. Not in the city. Anymore. Anyway, so I had to go do that. And then while I was gone, he also had me go by and check his mail. I don't have a mailbox. I don't get mail. He he gets mail at the post office. And I guess that somehow or another, his mom, somebody pays for it. I don't, he doesn't tell me a lot of so stuff. That, so that abandoned house, stuff, listen to me. me, that abandoned house is right next to the post office. Is that what you're telling me? It's not right next to it. It's right down the road from it, yeah. So you got off your live and ran down there to, to check his mail at the post office real quick. Now tell me what kind of I went to the, mail. I said I went to the bathroom. I said I went to the bathroom. No, no, no. And he told then everybody you were checking the, the mail. Go watch yeah, the video. Yeah, I said it's I went to the there. bathroom. And, okay, and I said I went to the bathroom, and I had to check the mail. That's when all I did. When you came back, well, you listen to me. When you came back, you said, I need to find mm -hmm. a bottle to put him in. That's what you said. It's all over the internet. Listen to me. The things that you do on this live yeah. do not go away. When you do something on here, it does not go away. That's what people don't understand. When you put yourself sure. on this live broadcast, people are screen recording everything. It does yeah. not go away, no matter how hard you try, no matter what you do. And I mean, you lied, man. Just say I lied. Hey, let's start fresh. I'm sorry, guys. I got a, I got a problem. I'm on the MAP program. Sometimes I can't get it. I have to resort to other things, you know, but. But, but you did. I don't go without it. I, I'm not going without it right now. I, honesty I'm, is I'm a policy, funny. man. If you're honest with I'm people, you'll get funny. more help, buddy. And there are resources. If you're hungry, I guarantee you there's somewhere around there in Texas, because I used to work in Texas. They got soup kitchens and everything that'll feed you, and they have cooling centers too, because I know it's 110 degrees out there. I worked there, I almost died out there. It's hot. I, it's ain't hot, hot in Texas. It sucks about the heat, I know that. I work in it every day, believe me. But when I had to come out there to work, I had to go home. That's how hot it was. So I know what you're going through. But just don't lie to people, man. That's what gets me. That's what I don't like. You know, when you lie to people, you know, you, you lose all, every every kind of bit of uh, trust that you have with them. Like, and people I get see that. that. I, I get that. I get that. But where my argument comes into play is you're saying one thing was said. So you're basing all of this information over one thing that was said. And you have no clue. You don't have no like in a court, you have to have evidence without a shadow of doubt. You have to have physical proof evidence before you can accuse somebody of something. Oh, okay? I got evidence. So it's online, man. Assumed, yeah, the words. You're saying this was said. Okay, where is the picture, the videos of the drugs that you're saying were bought? Okay, of course you're not going to show those on live. But you're telling me, I've, I've went after like at least 500 different people on here taking advantage of people. And most of them are scammers and beggars. I get that. But after you do this that. for several years, you become a scammer. I get that. And I do have proof. I got proof of everything. I sure do. I just don't right. have proof of what you had, but you said you had to get a bottle to put them in. Exactly. I'm just telling you to quit lying to people, man, because you're okay. not going to get through before you're talking. You're, you're letting your mouth override what you're thinking, and, and you're, you, all, everything's a lie at this point. I'm repeating the same thing I'm saying. You're basing the same shit over words. That's it. That's what I'm saying. I'm not changing nothing. I'm not thinking about anything. I'm, I'm not saying, saying that. Thing. I'm saying when people ask you questions, you just start talking. Instead of sitting there thinking about it for a minute, you just start rambling on. Just like you said, you had the job, yeah. and everybody said, where's the boots? Oh, I left them at my buddy's house. Oh, no, not his house where he's shacking up at or whatever you said. So everybody thinks you got a house now. And then they asked you again. You said, oh, they're at the house. You see it's what I'm saying? It's an abandoned house. It's an abandoned you didn't, house. You say abandoned house, though. You said, oh, they're they're at the house. They're at the house. So everybody automatically thinks, that, you know, you got a place to live. Okay. And, and I've said, guy, and, 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 and they know in previous, okay, if everything, if everything is on the internet, then they would know in my previous life, when I've said abandoned house, they would know what I'm freaking talking about. 
you said the police ran y'all off from there, but y'all had a key to it too. That was another okay. thing. Y'all had yeah. a key to an yeah. abandoned and house. And I also, and I said two nights later or three nights later, whatever it was, I did say that we that he found another abandoned house. There's probably shit. I don't even know, but there's a lot of abandoned properties around. Yeah, but if you said the police run you off, they're not going to let you come back, man, because they can, you know, somebody can pass away in there. No and one, no one, on that no one went can back. Be liable for it. The same yeah, thing goes right. on no where one, I live. No one, no one went back to that property. That's what I'm trying to say. No one went back to that property. This is a whole different place than the first abandoned property that we were at. But you didn't say this that. You said at the place. house. You didn't say we found said. another place. I, I know, know what, what I said. Too. I, I recorded it. I, okay, cool. I'm a, well, I mean, okay, good. But I've been what doing I'm this saying, for so long, man. Matter. I can tell when people are lying. That's you don't fine. have to lie to me. You can lie to everybody on here, but don't lie to me, man. I, I've been through I, this. I'm not lying about about the abandoned house. That's what I'm sitting here saying. I'm not lying about it. Okay. I'm standing so, across the fucking road from it. So y'all got keys to that house, too? After he changed the locks, yeah. And the other night, you said you was in a house with uh, some couple kids there, and the kids didn't have nothing to eat. And he was upstairs with the mama and the kids. And somebody said, I can't hear the kids. You that said, oh, well, that was here. This is a big house. That was his girlfriend's sister. Yes, that was his girlfriend's sister and her kid, two kids. Do you, not see, do you not see what I'm saying? You're not thinking about stuff before you're saying it, and you're getting caught in a bunch of shit. You know what I mean? I'm... I, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, all I know is the kids, there were kids with him and his and his girlfriend's sister. That's their, not his, his girlfriend her. allows her kids to be around him, and he's an SO. They probably don't even know because they've only been together for four months. But you don't you know gotta, that, you that's think. your best friend. You're right. I don't go researching everybody. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not a person on TikTok that researches and catches people and lies, apparently. I, I just don't do that. I got more shit to do with my day than to worry about everybody else. They got busted papers that tell everything somebody's done on there in Texas. I know they do. Okay. They got them in every state. Well, and they, they, they change every week done. also. And they change every week also. You go into 7-Eleven or whatever gas station, you see the busted paper. It's a new set of pictures every week. So, yeah. This something happened to him. I don't know. It had to do with where I knew him, which I haven't known him very, very long. So does he live with his mama and you stacking up there too? No, he. There's look. It's him, his girlfriend, and me. When it rains, I stay there too. When it's not raining, I don't stay there. That's it. There's no mom or anything. But you need to understand where I'm coming from. I've been I've been trying to bring people down. Well, you can't stop them, but you can at least let people know that they're being taken advantage of. I've been after hundreds of you, hundreds. So you're not fooling me. You do see you what wanna, I'm saying? Do you, do you I've seen a lot of people just like you. Throw? There was a guy named Bam Bam on here, and he was he's probably the, he reminds me of you, oh. the way he did things. And I can't find him no more because he's probably not alive. You see what I'm saying, man? I'm trying to I'm trying to help you. I don't like to see people go. I watched a girl on here get money and she didn't come back the next day. And she's got two beautiful little girls that don't have a mama anymore. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I get what you're saying. Like, this shit bothers me, man, because my son's on this shit, too. You see what I'm saying? I got, I got no reason to, to try to bring you down or anything. I want you to do good, man. I hope okay, you did get a job. I hope let you're not lying. You let me ask you this. Then why do it? Why? Why? Do it on a live in front of hundreds of people when you can message that person or say, hey, follow me so I can talk to you. Because privately. you won't follow me back. And I've been trying you to get you ask. to come in my you live for ask. two weeks. You didn't ask. You saw Josh ask. Yes, and I, did. I did. When did you I ask? I asked you to come in my live and you said no, not tonight. And then you disappeared after you got the money. Oh, and that well, was the night you were supposed I... to get the boots. And you went live the next day and got a hundred and something more dollars and still didn't get no boots. But now you're telling me you bought them from a pawn shop that sells ice cream and candy. Well, I didn't get a hundred something dollars. I got ninety something dollars from one person, two different times, in the same day. So That's a pair of fifty dollar boots from Walmart, you would have been good to go, man. Yeah. But then you said and you needed a uniform. Buy. You said you needed some black pants and a black shirt. Yeah, yeah, black pants and a black shirt because 
my friend that got me the job said, when you go to your safety class and all that stuff, you need to wear black shirt and black pants. That's what I wore. That's what you need to wear. Look presentable. I don't you have nothing. black pants on right now, or did you change clothes somewhere? Because your boots ain't with you. Did you go no, to your I got house on. and change got, clothes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I changed clothes at the abandoned house when I got done because it was 2.30 in the afternoon, hot as I'll get out. And, yeah, I came back and put shorts on. What's so bad about that? So you ain't got them same boots you showed in that video the other day on yeah, right now? Yeah, I got the boots. I've got the boots. I just don't have them on my feet. You just said they're right now. They're house. right here. They're right. Here. What? You told everybody they was at your buddy's house when they asked to see them. You said they're, they're at my buddy's house. They are. I didn't say. I didn't. Just, did I tell you anything different? No. I said they're not on my feet right now. That's where they're at. I mean, what do you want? Do you want me to go get them and show them to you again? No, I don't want you to do anything but quit lying to the people and quit uh, taking advantage of people. That's all I want you to do, man. I'm not lying about anything right now. You're telling me I am. And it gets aggravating because you're trying to tell me I'm lying about something I'm not lying about. The boots are over at the damn house right now. I got done at 2.30, got on, came back, and changed. What is so wrong with that? You said you know Texas heat. So Listen would it me. be normal? Listen to me. You know, you act like every time you get a gift, you're like, oh, boy, that's amazing. I've never got one of those. Buddy, I watched you get a line last year. I said it, I said it's rare for me to get gifts. It ain't and rare. It you get them every time you get on live, but you act like it's something so amazing so people keep sending them. Like, you're not fooling me, man. You're fooling everybody else. You're not fooling me. Okay, if you go into other people's lives and you watch them get castles, you watch them get the big gifts and stuff like that. You're and not a somebody... creator. If you're a creator and you make content, of course. I, I don't. I can't say nothing about you getting gifts. But when you're on here taking advantage of people to get gifts, yeah, I'm going to say something about it because it ain't right. The gifts are for the creators, man. You don't create yeah. content. You don't even have 10,000 followers to be a creator. Okay, then who... who... Who determines on what gifts are for who? The last I checked is whoever the hell wants to send them to who. Yeah, get off. Damn. Lee, go with him. You can go on too with him. Jeez, I don't even know why he left. I might run him out. Your most block can go to. <laughs> Acting, what are you talking about? Fox oh. man, nobody wants in because there's no one in it right now. He wouldn't have left, then why did he leave? I'm sitting there asking right when it happened. I was in the middle of talking to the dude when the screen went back. I don't know why. No, I didn't block him. Hell no, I didn't. No, I was in the middle of talking to him when it just went. I didn't block nobody. Good job blocking. Okay, if you were blocked, how the hell are you commenting right now? Use your brain, buddy. I didn't block you. I was in the middle of talking to you. Yeah, I did blog New York. They're running their mouth. When they could just easily go on. That, okay, you got 100 accounts. Good, but I didn't block you. I did not block you. I didn't touch nothing. I was in the middle of talking to you. Now you're probably in here, and, and what's funny, that's a badass car. And what gets me is it's a, if you have 100 accounts, they can't all have the same name. That's the same name that you were just in my live with. Because I got it recorded. I did not block him. I don't give a rat's rear end. Oh, man, I got it. 
Look, I don't like blocking everybody. I really don't. Why what? I didn't block him. I'm trying to tell y'all that. I didn't touch anything. I was uh, talking to the guy, and I was just as surprised as everybody else. I said, why the hell did you leave? Get back in, and I will let him up. There's no one in it right now. Okay, maybe one of the mods did, but I did not block him. I'm not just going to block him for no reason just because he's saying I'm lying. Dang, I was proving I was trying to talk to the guy. Let me see. Hold on. Look, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me click on his deal. I'm going to see if he, because I know he's not blocked. Yeah, it says right here block. It doesn't say unblock. I didn't block the guy. It doesn't say unblock. It says block. When I click on his name, it gives me the option to block him. It doesn't say unblock, so that means he's not blocked. Well, I don't know who blocked him, but that's bullcrap whoever blocked him because he didn't do nothing. He was just talking. I didn't unblock you. What are you talking about? See, now you're back in on your regular account. Oh my god, dude. Hold on, I gotta let this dude back in. That's bull crap. I One of the mods had to do it. I ain't got no reason to block the guy. Look, somebody blocked me because it, I even tried to look your name up and there was no name there that was yours, so I got I, on my other... I got a lot of accounts, man. People I'm not, I'm not disagreeing with you. Here. I'm not dis I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm, I didn't block you, though, because I have no reason to block you just because you're talking here's the thing when you I didn't block people on here they're going to come right back so there really ain't no sense in blocking I'm, people you see what i'm saying trust me, I, know. Make another I, deal with it. I deal with it all the time i know there's one guy that just does it over and over he has zero followers and he's following zero people you can block him one minute and he's there what, two minutes later it's crazy well you got a moderator in here that that ain't really on your team because I'm not yeah, trying to do nothing to hurt you, man. I just I just want you to, to you know, do what's right. That's all I want. I That's all everybody wants is watch you. I know. I'll, I'm going to find out who did that because that's bull crap. I did not block you. I had nothing. No, I have nothing against you. Nothing at all. You know, you're you're just talking. You're, you're speaking your mind. I mean, all I can do is respect that. I, I'm not mad at you. Well, I appreciate that because let me tell you something, man. I, I really appreciate that because, you know, a lot of people on here, when they see me, they block everything I got because they know I'm going to speak the truth. I have no reason to lie. I'm not gonna, I don't make money on this app. You. I've never made a dollar on this app. And if I did get gifts on my live, I re-gifted them to other people. I got no reason to keep them. When you cash out on here, they take everything you got anyway. Right. So, I mean, yeah, you already know that. So, I got no reason to lie on here. Like I don't benefit at all from lying. And you know, one thing about lying, when you tell one mm -hmm. lie, you got to tell another they lie just, to cover that one. Yeah, up. They just and then stack everything up. becomes a lie. Eventually you're so, caught up in so much, you forget the truth and lying. You start believing it. it. Well, people on here ain't going to believe it. I mean, you might find a couple no, 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 of no, I'm talking. People. I'm talking about, I'm talking about the person lying will uh, start to believe their own lies eventually. The reason that people get on here and ask for money all the time is because they know that there's billions of people on here and there's always going to be a new influx of people that oh, don't yeah. know your situation like Josh a minute ago. He didn't yeah. know your situation, but he was trying to help you. He's a good dude, I guess. He was just trying to help you. Well, yeah. he's seen videos and now he knows. I mean, you was nodding out on live on here, bud. I watched you do it several times. I watched you do it at McDonald's yeah. or whatever that restaurant was. That was and I don't know if that's the methadone doing that or what. Look, I've been nodding ever since I've been. Look, methadone, that might have a might have a part to it. But if I if I get really tired, yeah, I'll, I nod off. But you said it was your contacts. What? When I was nodding off? Yeah, you said, damn, these contacts. They, you know, yeah, you what? said it was the contacts. That, that one time it was. I wear contacts. Like I, yeah, I wear. Contact right here. They're clear, but anyways, yeah, I wear contacts, and sometimes they act up and they go dry, and I have to put eye drops in. 
or my eyes just get real red and I keep blinking and blinking. But no, most of the time, yeah, I do nod off because I was, I'm tired. I'm legitimately exhausted. I understand I mean, when you sweat all day. I do it eight to 10 hours, sometimes 12 hours a day. I'm in this heat down south, sweating my ass off. My underwear and everything soaking wet. I go to work at five o'clock in the morning and by five thirty, my underwear and everything soaking ass wet. And I got to uh -huh. get in tractor and turn on the air conditioner. So I go from real cold to really fucking hot real fast. You see what I'm saying? I I, I know yep. what it's about. I've been in it. I work my ass off or I don't yeah. have a place to lay my head or take a shower mm -hmm. or none of that. But I don't let me tell you something, man. People care about you, man. And you may not believe that. And I actually care about you. I don't want nothing bad to happen to you. I don't want you to get off of here and not come back. And I've seen it happen on here. And I really don't want to see that happen to you because the people on here that don't have common sense that keep sending you money based off of a lie because they don't know no better. You see what I'm saying? I really don't want to see you go that way, man. And if you are on that, that's great. And maybe you can't afford it sometimes and you got to get on here and tell a couple fibs to get a little money to get what you, you got to get off the street to, so you don't get sick. I understand that, man. I just don't want I mean, to see I, bad I, happen I don't, to you, I don't, buddy. I don't take anything off the street. I don't take I, – all I take is my methadone. I mean, I just got this job. I had to do a drug test for that. I, I, I don't do anything. I take my methadone and that's it. But – you know, I'm not. I get what you're saying. I mean, I get it. And like I said, I have no reason to hate you. If anything, I respect what you're doing. I get that. You know, I because that, uh, uh, there, you know, a lot of people, like you said, they see you, 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 you say your piece, and then they block you. I get. Well, that. I never get to say my piece. They never let me up I'm, to talk. Well, I'm not going to block you because one, you're you're a grown man. You're just you're just speaking your mind. I get that. Because, you know, well, like it comes down to what I've said before, who am I to judge somebody else? I'm not. You're right. And I'm not judging you. I just go by what I've seen. And No, no, and no. I know like you're I, not. Like I know you're not. I've said before, man, everything that you do on here, Matt, is recorded and it stay. It never goes away. Stuff that goes on the Internet, like there's been grown men that get on here and flash people on lives. And you know, there's children on this app. Yeah, I've seen, I, yeah, I've, I've, I've seen that a, lot, a couple of years ago on here. Now, I mean, I know it happens more than that, but I've seen there's women have that their junk out too. It's just crazy. It makes you wonder, like, man. There's yeah, they're, they're, yeah, yeah. here to talk about what kind of kids they like to be with, and they yeah. try to get up, get their Snapchat, and send them a nudie pictures and all that stuff. And they are yeah. most of them are convicted SOs. Yep. The uh, sick people in this world, like I just don't even. I guarantee you, the you, majority you of the that, people though. that use this app, the majority of You're the people right. on this on this app, are probably minors. I'm telling you, man, you remind me so much of Bam Bam. If you could ever met Bam Bam, y'all y'all are the same person. He basically was. He basically did the same thing you're doing. Uh, he was a good guy. He meant well. He just. He just had to get what he had to get, and he had to say whatever he had to say to get it. You see what I'm saying? And I can see that going on with you, man. And I just, you need, you got to figure it out, buddy. This, this TikTok was not created for people to ask for money. It was created for children back in like 2015, 2016. This used to be a children's app. Oh, yeah. And, they the first. App. and then they turned it into this, and now all it is is a bunch of sick ass people on here creating drama. Yep and everything to get clout, to get views, to get gifts and all that stuff in these battles. But the battles yeah. is what the gifts are for. Yeah. I just don't want nothing bad to happen to you, man, because like I said, Bam Bam, I don't know where he's at. I've looked for him everywhere. Yeah. It's funny you said that because earlier in the beginning of my life, somebody came in here with the, with the username Bam Bam something, but it wasn't just Bam Bam. It was Bam Bam and a couple of numbers. And I just yeah, got to think about. He was from Holyoke. Kim and his girl. He uh he lied and said he was in the military. He was no. stolen valor. He was never in the military. He lied I about a bunch seen. of stuff. <laughs> it's it's crazy you said that. I've seen a bunch of people on here that did that. that come on here wearing Army Navy store uniforms or something. They they were in the military, but yet when when you I wasn't ever in the military, but all my family was. My brother just got out of the Marine Corps. 
two years ago, I think, not even two years ago. He did five five years in the Marine Corps. Okay. Yeah, hey, I know he was stationed in Okinawa, Japan, and in Seoul, South Korea, two times on each one. Um, but anyways, my grandpa was in the Army. And, but when you have a family, what I'm getting at is when you have a family for, that were in the military, you know what uniforms are supposed to look like and what what I should stand for this and that, where they're supposed to be when you call people out on it. And they're like, oh, well, it's American flag. It's, but uh, I got that from going to war in Iraq. You got the American flag patch from going to war. Really? Like, I mean, it's some of the stuff that answer you get funny. It, it's not funny. It's more ridiculous than anything. And it, 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 it's against the it, law it, if you get monetary gain. Oh, yeah, yeah, it, it, yeah, yeah, it's against the law. And it's an embarrassment. More than anything, like people died wearing that uniform so you could be doing what you're doing, but not for you to be doing what you're doing. People died in that uniform for your freedom, and you're using your freedom to disrespect their legacy, their, you know, their uniform. Well, so, people passed away for, you know, fighting for this country, for our freedom, and they're oh, treated yeah. like garbage, and they can't even get the medical attention that they need. And they can't yep. even get help. And that's why so many of them are taking their lives every day. Uh, my uncle was a master sergeant in the Marine Corps during Vietnam. Okay. I have a flag that was off the embassy that was signed to him. It's probably worth half a million dollars. I won't sell it. But if I got it authenticated, I could probably sell it. So, yeah, I know all about the military stuff. But if you get yep. monetary gain from it, that is against the law. That is a federal crime. You will go to jail yep. for that. It's like lying about having cancer. There was a girl in here. Her name was Maddie, uh, Maddie something. She went yeah. to jail. They locked her ass up. The feds yep. get involved in everything. It's just like and saying man. you're a cop when you're not a cop, you know, impersonation. Well, yeah, that's that's kind of different, though. They're not trying to get money off of that. They're just trying to be somebody that they're not. They're trying to get people scared. You know, you'll see well, a lot yeah. of that on this app. I'm the police. I'm the FBI. I know you're not. Yeah. You know what I mean? People lie all the time. But, yeah. man, I, I just. I just don't want I don't want you to see nothing bad happen to you, buddy. I really don't. I don't hate you. Um, you can follow me back on here. You can message me on here. I'll answer it. But please, man, please think about what you're doing, man. Please try to do better for yourself, man. Please. All right. Because taking advantage of people ain't going to cut it, man, because they're, they've already figured you out. You're all over Reddit. You're all I over YouTube. You're all over the place, man. I tried to uh, follow you, but it did it private. Yeah, I'll accept it. But uh, you, you got to remember what you do on here is recorded and it never goes away. Yeah, I know. So you got to watch what you do, man. And there'll come a time where everybody's going to figure you out and there won't be nobody left. Like you can't block with 10,000 people on here. And once you block 10,000 people, that's it. They do like follow. I they they follow more than 10,000. But if you look, if you want to be a content creator, create content, start dancing and shit on here. If you want to do it that way, start battling people. Nobody can say nothing then. Yeah. I just don't want to see nothing bad happen to you. And I like to see people do better for themselves. And there ain't many of them that's ever turned the thing around and done right. Yeah. But I can tell you're a good guy, man. You got a good heart and you mean well. It, it's just, you know, like I said, you got to get what you got to get and you got to say whatever you got to say to get it. And you can yeah. agree with me or disagree with me, but you know I'm right. I just, I'm not trying to make you look like a fool on here. I just, I want you to stop, man. Stop trying to take advantage of people. You know what I mean? You got to stop that. Everybody knows you can't buy boots from a pawn shop, dude. Like I was born, I was born yesterday, but not last night. You know what I mean? You can't do that. Well, I, like I said, it's not really a pawn shop. It, the name doesn't have pawn shop in it. It's a mercantile. But I, I'll go out there Saturday Street. Can I really want y'all to see? There is a place here in this town that sells used boots all day She's long. She's gonna take me to a pawn shop that sells ice cream and candy. Like I said, it's not really a pawn shop. It's a mercantile. They have the word mercantile in their name. I, I considered it a pawn shop of sorts because they have taken in jewelry from me before and given me like 40 bucks. 
But see, but people, no, it's not, people told it's you not that. Really. People said go to a thrift store and you could find some boots probably. And you was like, no, I need a size eight, uh, eight and a half, and they might fit me different, which I understand that. I have to buy my boots special because my foot's so big. But right. I understand that. But saying a pawn shop, you straight up said pawn shop. You know what I mean? You got to think about what you're saying before you say it. Just don't go with the flow. Yeah. It's just uh, it's just how I look at it because of what business I've done there before. But, yeah, I get it. It's not a legit pawn shop. I get that. But that's how I looked at it, and I should have been more specific. I'm, you know, I admit the only, that. that was the my only best. pawn shop I ever known that sold shoes was a pawn shop had a pair of 85 Jordans, and they were probably – they, they wasn't in great shape, but he got one at $10,000 for them. You know, the, flight, Michael, the first Michael Jordans that came out, the flights. Oh, the rims, yeah. Yeah. And there's some that's in mint condition that's worth a million dollars. I believe it. So I know all about the pawn shop deal. That's the only kind of shoes they'll take, even if they're worn. Yeah. But they're going to sell, you know, they're going to sell them under the table. They're not going to sell them to somebody that's going to call the health department because they're selling used. You know, exactly. you might as well sell used underwear if you're going to sell used boots and shit. Yeah. Well, this place is more, it's more or less, like I said, it's a, it's a mercantile. Um, they, it's more of a country western store. All right, that, I like, got one more question before I go, man. One more question. Who's the Derek guy? I watched I it. I, I, people sent me the, the video. video. Listen I, to I, me I, now I, before you start talking. Don't I, start I, talking I, now. Think about what I said. I watched him. Yeah. And I watched him tell you, you know who I am. I was locked up with you and Kyle. Y'all both know who I am. Go get Kyle. I don't want to do this to you. I watched him say that. Mm -hmm. And you said, oh, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this, bro. And then you disappeared. And then he yeah, went and did his own life. I wasn't awake at the time. But people send me everything. The whole I I'm trying to say, I got the same videos. I got the same videos from the girl that went in live with him and talked to him. And he said, I called the police, which no, I didn't. Why am I going? I don't know the guy. I, I, I wish I did because. Who is Zeke? Do what? Zeke. Who is Zeke? I, that, I don't know. They were saying I went live with somebody last week or something named no, Zeke. They're I don't saying know. that's somebody where you buy your stuff with. from. That's, they're saying that's how you buy your black from. Your dog food. Well, I, I don't know no Zeke. I know you know what dog food is. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what Zeke. But Derek got a ticket over it. What are y'all talking about? See, yeah, I don't, I don't. All he, that. Said, he says I know him, but I don't remember who he is. I don't know no, him. Said, if I do, I don't remember. You said, I got the video now. I'll send it to you if you got Instagram. I, I've got said, it. Yeah, I know, I know who I you said. are, bro. I don't want to do this, bro. I don't want to do this, bro. Yeah, yeah. I, was, I was trying to get it. He was threatening me, dude. I mean, come on now. I'm trying to leave me alone. But you huh? did say you knew who he was. That's what gives him a little bit of credibility. And the guy came in my life and threatened me and called me an enabler and said his dad was the police and all this stuff, which yeah. I could care less about. But he I, I did act you. like you knew him, and you acted like there was a little bit of fear in your heart. Well, a guy threatened you. Hell yeah, there's fear in, in there. I mean, you don't know this guy. People disappear every day for just stupid reasons. He said he sent me 90-something dollars. No, the only person that sent me 90-something dollars was that okay I, I don't know who he is really i don't if i did i would how, say i knew him but i, I don't remember if i do that? know him i don't do what or dash or something because that blows money i mean how did you spend that if you go get some some uh some how bread and it? some some peanut butter or a pack of bologna and get you a little a little dollar cooler well, I don't, cell phone cooler get you some ice in it i know buddy i've I been broke before do that i don't i don't you i don't have a cooler and do all that i don't have stuff like that i get money but and i could cooler. hey a cooler a star phone cooler costs two dollars from a little convenience store you can throw a bag of a dollar ice in it you've been fishing you're a fisherman you know how how it I works man yeah, I know, but ice, yeah, that adds up. As hot as it is, you're going to have to buy two bags of ice a day to keep stuff good. Especially in Texas. I understand that. But, hey, that's, you know, two or three bucks. Well, I have to, I take that back. Ice here is $2 a bag. So, yeah, I'll take that back. It ain't a dollar. Uh, yeah. They're jacking it up every day. But you know what I mean? A styrofoam cooler, two or three bucks, and a bag of ice is $5 for the whole get up. Throw you some bottled waters in there or whatever, and you're good to go. So why couldn't you do that and throw a pack of bologna in there and have your little sandwich bread with you, even if it gets toasted out there in that Texas heat? 
it's even better. Yeah, when yeah, it's yeah. I'm, not, I'm not saying I couldn't do that. I'm saying I haven't done that. I just that those kind of things don't don't cross my mind. I get money and I think what's close by that I can just go get right now and eat. I can walk to McDonald's. I can walk to a fast food place and get food and I'm I'm taken care of. That's it. I don't think about those things. But you're I right. You I mean, I could do me. that. I could get you. A, I could I could hire you, man. If you was closer to me, I definitely I'd, I'd give you a chance to do something. You'd have to show up every day, but I'd give you a chance and I'd pay you cash at first for at least the first two weeks. If you could get down here to Georgia, I would do that. And I've seen other guys on a few jobs, and I spoke to them too. They got me on Instagram. I talked to them on the phone, and they said that, that you would not take guy, them up on their offer. That, that Woodruff guy, he yeah. offered me a job, but he was going to fly you out there and everything. Yeah. So I mean, you just you just turned him down and just kept going with the with well, the flow you, that you're you, going you with. Can't, it's not uh, worth it. People told me on here they're gonna buy me a house. I mean, not a house, a car, and stuff like that. And, and they tell you they're gonna buy you this and that. And no, don't do it. So you can't believe everything you hear. So, well, he seemed pretty genuine, and he wouldn't well, have talked to me if he wasn't genuine because he knows exactly who I am. He's been well, following he, me for about I, a year and a now, half. Now I believe it because every day I see his videos of him. Uh, like, what was up? This morning I was sitting at the at the at the uh, safety council place where I was doing my class. And I was just sitting there waiting for them to open because I got there at six o'clock. They didn't open until six thirty. And uh, I was sitting on the porch just scrolling through TikTok, and one of his videos was in there. He was doing. He was there. There's another guy in the background. They were doing a house. I don't know if they were doing roofing or siding or what. Oh shit! I gotta get out of the way. Somebody probably had a heat stroke. Jeez, that was my ear. Getting out of my Sorry about that. There went my eardrum. So what do you what do you owe money on? That you you on probation or something? No, uh, back, uh, no, it was court costs from 2013, 14, somewhere in there. I don't know the exact date, but yeah, somewhere around there. I got in trouble acting stupid, being the wrong place at the wrong time, and went to jail. And uh, well, not all of it was just court costs. It sums up to the payment being in court costs, but it, there was a fine in there. There was attorney fees, um, and then there was court costs in there. I was on probation for a while, but that had nothing to do with it. I, I finished all that. But um, no, it just all added up to the fine. I had a fifteen hundred dollar fine that was in there. Attorney fees and court costs. That's all. Okay, here's here's another thing. The lady Ellie that sent you fifty bucks. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, L. Ellie is her name. Dark headed woman. L or something. Yeah, L E L. We friends with her on here, uh, and I jumped her ass about sending you money. And she said that, you know, you was going to pay her back, whatever. She said she wanted her money back. So why are you avoiding her? I noticed that she's blocked and she can't get in yeah, here. She's she on the backup page. She was blocked for what she was doing and saying a while the other night. You know, I'm OK with people coming on here, but they're not going to run their mouth. And just make random stuff up now. She never mentioned anything about being paid back when she offered to send money because I didn't have a job yet. So how, why, for one, why would I offer to pay someone back if I don't have a way to make money? That I, I wouldn't do that. Well, she showed I've me never, where she's been. I've never offered to pay anybody back if I've gotten money because I don't have a way to pay it back. So I'm not going to tell somebody I can pay them back. She sent me the money, and then when that video about buying pills supposedly went viral, not viral, but when that dude recorded it, when she saw that, oh, well, now she wants her money back. Well, I'm sorry. Yeah, um, you did it and I don't have it now, so I can't you know give the it that guy, to You know the guy you're talking about, Blast? He's actually a yeah. good friend of mine. He's been doing this with me for a long time. He's a real yeah. great guy. If you ever he talk to him, he's a he He's no, a, no, he's not. No, he's not. Yes, he is. Don't talk about him like that, man. He is actually he is. a good guy. He and didn't he come on here. Hey, he, he didn't try to come on here and talk to me face to face like you're doing man to man. He just ran his because mouth. You wouldn't let him up. You no, wouldn't let him never, up. He, 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 has never once, he has never once been in my guest thing. 
I, I can tell you that. He's never been in. He might have been in my life, but he was not in my deal to come on. But do not talk bad about somebody that I know is genuine on here. Well, I fact. don't know He's it. a good friend of I mine, and I know he means well. And he has never betrayed anybody. He's never betrayed me or anybody on this app. The reason well, one he doesn't thing he needs, very thing well, is to bring the badness out of you because you're going to get okay, pissed well, one, off. One thing he needs to to understand is I when when you you know in high school words you might not think yeah you know y'all might not think this but words can take a, can mean a lot to somebody and do you know that. You might, just because someone's doing something one way, you don't agree with it, and you think it's a lie. It might not be a lie, but you think it is because a thousand other people have lied like that. So you think, and if you call them out on it and they weren't lying, what are you going to do when they go commit suicide because you're bullying them in their opinion? No, no, that's no, how no, they no, no, no. That's, hey, don't say that because that's everybody uses care. that as a scapegoat. That is the biggest scapegoat on TikTok to say somebody's a bully. Are they bullying you? Well, I have not seen being people. I've seen people commit suicide over it. That's why I'm saying that. Okay, you're talking about different situations because they weren't begging for money. That was a totally different situation. I've seen it too on TikTok, but that was a totally different situation. They were making fun of their appearance and stuff like that. This guy and has never made was. fun of your appearance. I promise you, he never has. Has he ever made well, fun of your appearance? I promise you, he hasn't. He's I'm not good talking guy. about me. I'm saying he needs to watch what he says because some people will don't take it like me in one ear and out the other. I can let shit go. There's a lot of people, though, who have been bullied their whole life through school and who can't handle that. He needs to watch who he calls out on here. Most of the people are taking advantage of people. He do not know who he's, who he's calling out on here because most of the people he's calling out are the same people I'm calling out. We've watched y'all do this continuously for a long time. You see what okay. I'm saying? And what if don't that person goes and does that? But that's what I'm saying. If you're talk bad about him, say that about me too. You came to me man to man. He didn't. He just started recording and spreading rumors. He didn't come to me I'm and talk. Sure he, I'm sure he probably did. He, he no, ain't he spread didn't. no rumors, dude. He does not spread rumors. He spreads nothing I'll but let, facts. I'll let He's you a in fact here. checker. Let me tell you well, something about Blast. He is a fact checker. There ain't nothing you can ever show me that he's ever brought out on the internet that is false information. He is nothing but the truth. Well, we have our opinions about him. At the end of the day, I think I don't care. It's you not an opinion; it's want. a fact, Jack. That may be, and you're and you, that's proven me wrong. You see it. Uh, it ain't how I see it; it's how I know it. I, I know the guy. I know him. Well, uh, how I, I see it is how I took it, and I don't. I, you know, we're we're grown. We're we're free. We can have our own opinions about it. I'm he's not, not gonna bullying say. anybody, though. That's where you got the wrong. You know, he's not bullying anybody. The guy, people get mad at him because. They get on here and beg for money and scam for money, and he that. tells I the truth that. about them. So he sends them a penny to piss them off and show their real their real side. When you send and somebody what? a penny that wants a dollar or a hundred dollars, they get pissed off. You see what I'm oh, saying? Oh, I get that. Yeah, I get that. But I'm saying, what if somebody goes and kills their self because of what he's doing? It, 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 that, even if they that did okay? that, what could they possibly do because they're scamming in the first place? You see what I'm saying? You're taking advantage of people, and the guy's trying to expose the truth. So what is he actually doing wrong? Nothing. He's putting his nose in something that he could have just left it out of. Let the I'm person know what they're doing. Who cares? I'm putting my nose in something I could have left it out of. I put right. my nose in your stuff right now. You see what I'm saying? Right. But I'm You're not right. I'm not trying to bring you down. I want you to do better, man. And I, I don't want to see you go away because of the shit you're putting in your body. I'm because when going, you don't get you mad, I know medicine. And I know what I'm getting. I'm not putting in my body. I'm taking one thing, and that is it. For for the last eight years, all I've had in my body is methadone. That's it. And I'm not saying the whole eight years. I'm saying for the last eight years, the only thing I've had in my body is methadone. That's good. Are you trying to come off of that? Yes. If you would have been in here earlier, I thought you were. But if when I was talking to Josh, he asked me about it. How? how what's your goal this time next year? Do you want to? I said my goal is to be off of it by the end of the year. I was at 100 milligrams. And I told the doctor, get me off of this shit. I don't want to be on it. I don't want yeah. on this stuff no more. I've been on it before for two years. I don't like it. I don't want to be on it that long. I've already been on it for talking, a year and a half. I'm ready to, to be done. I'm ready. I'm ready to be off. Talking to me, talking to me and talking to a person that don't know nothing about what you've been doing on here is two totally different things. Like, I know everything about you. And I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think there ever was a car, Matt. 
There was. And that would be the best thing for you to do, just to say, hey, there, there wasn't ever a car. Just be honest with everybody, and you would probably get more help. I get that. You see what I'm Boy, saying? I don't think there was a car because theory. I've seen your buddies got to go fund me for a car. Okay, but I didn't, know, I didn't know him. I didn't know him then. I did not know him then. So y'all were not rolling together back in the no. uh, I just told you earlier, I haven't known him that long. I have only known him for maybe four months. Four and a half, you five need to get months. get away from that month. guy. I, I wouldn't I be associated with somebody that hurts children. You see what I, I'm saying? I, and, and, that's, and I thanked you earlier. I thank you for telling me that because I need to know that because I don't like it either. And I'm going to, when I get off of here, after I message Josh, I'm going to go look that up because I'm not calling you a liar, but just like you. You base everything off of facts. So I'm going to go look and see what if he really did that, which I believe you. And if he did, my ass is cutting ties. I'm gone because I'm not going to be around anybody who hurts kids. That's not right. That's the, in my opinion, that's the lowest of low in, in the book. Damn, y'all got a lot of ambulances going on around there. What man? That was I ain't a fire. Gonna ask where you are? I know where you are, but I ain't gonna say nothing. You, you would have. Yeah, that was party. a fire. That was a fire truck earlier. Now this is an ambulance. Man, they're coming off that street where the fire truck went. They're coming off that street, going to down to the probably going to the hospital. But so you don't you don't know who the Zeke guy is. No, and you don't know don't. who the who the other guy is that come in my live calling me a liar, blue know. eyes. I really want to know, and if I do know him, I don't remember him. That's what I'm saying. I don't remember him. I watched the recording, and if you get an Instagram, I can send it to you. The look okay. in your face was you were so scared, and I'm not going to lie. You were so scared. You said, bro, I don't want this. I know who you are. I don't want to do this. I don't want this, because he said he was going to whoop you. If he yeah. didn't get his $95 back, he was going to whoop you. And then he said, hey, you know, I don't want to whoop you. Let, just come talk to me, and you never come and talk to him. Well, what I don't me is you were on here till two o'clock in the morning, and, and I don't know him. Four thirty in the morning. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't know him. If I knew him, I would know where he was. He didn't want to tell me anything about where he was. He just said, "I'm in the same town you're in." Okay, do you not realize that could be anywhere? That could be behind he, the trees. I don't know where that is. He said he had a pair of boots for you too, so you never met up with him. So I mean. Just the way your face looked and the way you disappeared off Hell that line. Yeah, I died. And, and I told you earlier, I was scared. Talking, you was frightened. Yeah, he threatened me. What normal human being is not going to be a little terrified of a random stranger saying they're in the same town with the way the world is nowadays, crazy fucking nutcases all over the world, threatening their yeah, life? What, I mean, come on that's now. That's what got me. To the thing about him, he threatened Lily, too, and I know Lily's got plenty of money. If you look on Lily's page, she's got a, a nice-ass yeah. sports car. She's got a nice place to live. Like, But yeah. she does cause a lot of drama and shit on here that I don't yeah. appreciate. And I've seen her on a lot of people's lives that's asking for money, and I don't appreciate it. And I told her that in my last live. You don't yeah, get on here and mess with these people. She, missed, she sent me a video about stealing fireworks while Elle was in jail or something, and then saying that when she sold half of the fireworks she was gonna send half them or five hundred dollars or something like that or to somebody i'm like why are you sending me the, these these screen recordings it's not even to me you're talking to l sending these to me and, and you, she never would answer that i'm just like that girl's just crazy she's an enabler is what she is she don't care the outcome of what happens she'll send money yeah. to anybody she don't and that's the thing with you, man. I you need you need to figure it out, buddy. I don't know. I, I guess I'm gonna see you on here money. tomorrow. I'm gonna see you on here the next day. And I hate that, man. You know, I don't know if you know who uh, Lisa and Jace day by day is on here. You know, I went live with her, and she promised that she was gonna go to rehab and all this, and she still kept doing it. I stay away from that. And I'm gonna stay away from you once this live's over. You won't hear from me again unless you message me and you want me to help you do something or whatever. I'll help you in any way I can, man. But quit taking advantage of people on here, man. Because let me tell you something: when you take advantage of people, nothing good ever comes of that. It's all gonna be bad. Karma is a motherfucker. When you take yep. from people, you're gonna get took from at the very end, and you're gonna be at rock bottom where you never been. And I don't yep. want to see that for you, man. Get you a job and do right, man. I know it's hard. You ain't got no car and stuff like that. But you got on here and scammed for a car. 
You got a you line got to once you get all these gifts. I watched you get five hundred dollars, and you said, you "Oh, the car's in the shop. Somewhere. The car's in the shop." Oh, where's the car? They kept saying, "Where's the car?" And you said, oh, the people are moving to Michigan. Uh, yeah, they're gonna sell me the car, but they're moving to Michigan. You were sitting in McDonald's. You said, "Oh, it's across the street at the shop." Nobody ever seen that car. And then I get on here when you came back, and I said, "Matt, where's the car?" You said, "Man, it broke down." And what can I say at that point? Because you never showed it. I mean, I can tell you what happened while I was gone for the whole six, seven months I wasn't on here. And if you don't want to believe that, that's all on you. I can't make you believe it. Well, I don't you know, know what you went on at that point. I don't know what went on at that point. You didn't tell me I, what I went on that. at that point. I, I get that. But it doesn't matter what I say. You already think I'm a liar, so you're going to think I'm lying if I'm telling you the truth. No, so, dude, I, I didn't call you a liar. You're deceiving people. You said I'm you don't saying. believe I had I to, you, you just said earlier, I don't believe you ever had the car. That's I said nobody lying. believed you had the car. I had people messaging me like he never showed. And this was back last year. Like he never showed the car. He never showed the car. Where's the car? <laughs> oh, well, he said it's in the shop across the street. He needs this much more money to get something to eat. Blah, blah, blah. You see what I'm saying? Like, I'm not trying yeah. to hurt you, dude. I don't want to hurt you. That is, that, you know, that's the last thing I want to. I don't know. I'm just calling it as you said. So now, is there is there somebody requesting to get up? Is there somebody requesting to get up? Penny Ferry or uh, Scammer Blast? There is, yeah, there's two people in. Well, no, yeah, well, Aubrey, you, you're were in you, here. Will you, will you let me down and let Scammer Blast up, and and I'll and I'll do. And you're going to see when you talk to him, he's a bad guy. Who's Blast? Is there no one in here named Blast? Penny Ferry. Is anybody up here? Somebody said. Oh, well, there's Penny Ferry, but not no Blast. Get Penny Ferry up here. Do me that solid. And it was good talking to you, Matt. I hope you do better, buddy. I'm going to accept your uh, request. You can message me. I'll help you find resources or whatever, buddy. Please take care of yourself, man. I don't want to see you do bad. I'm perfectly fine. I appreciate it, but thank you. I mean, everybody needs a friend, man. But just do me one solid and let him up here, and you'll see he's not a bad guy. Can you do that for me? Yeah, I'll let him in, but I ain't going to promise you how long he's going to be in. Okay, well, he's and not going to start I just talking. Want you to see that. I just want you to see that, Matt. And you can message right. me anytime, and I'll answer it. You hear me? Yep. Take care of yourself, buddy. All right. It was good talking to you, man. Take it, take it easy. Alright. Hello. Infamous Hey, what's good, Matt? What's up? Alright, I, I probably I just wanted to wonder who the penny was. <laughs> yeah, I'm the I'm, I'm the penny fairy, but I'm also a ghost of blast too. Um I did not know that. What how did you feel that me showing what happened in your life is bullying? Like, as you called me a bully just now, did I, did I make fun of you? Did I, did I say anything bad or did I just show what happened in your life? I mean, you, you screamed, Corey. You just showed what happened. Right. How, and, how and is that I don't bullying? Know where, I don't know where the words came in that... I was buying drugs. I don't know who started that rumor. I just know a screen recording was made from you, and it was sent around. Because, That's all I know. And I'll, and I'll explain why they think that, why they feel this way. Is because during the live, during the live that I was recording, you you gave the phone to Kyle, um, and Kyle, you yeah. just said you've known for four months, but you have a video with the Nitro thing from November, so. Yeah, you, when, and, I first, when I first met him, but I've only been hanging out with him like on a regular basis for about four months. And back in January is when the thing went down with the car and you also getting a lion and stuff like that. You were sitting in McDonald's at the time. Um, yeah. And then you, you disappeared for like four months and came back in June. So I don't know what you were doing 
in between that time frame and stuff like that. However, what I do know is in November, you said that you lost a city job. Then again in January, you said you just lost a city job. And now again, you said you just lost a city job. Um, it's the inconsistencies is that is bothersome. I think it's the well, fact I that said, I didn't. I haven't said. I didn't say I just lost the the the, the city job any time recent. That's been shit. That's been months well, you, ago. That was a few, no. That was a few weeks ago, Matt. When you first came back on, you said I just lost a city job. I was working for them for two Recently. and a half months. Yeah, yeah. Two this and was and back months, in baby. June. No, the, yeah, no. In so June, you were saying you were working for them. Go back two and a half months from June. That's April. Right. You know, you came, you came on saying, but how did you lose the same city job three times? I didn't. I lost it one time, and happened to say I lost it three different times. I only lost it once. I only got hired once. Which, but in November, you said two. I guess y'all are getting the timing down wrong because of how I said it. That, that, that I get. I mean, I didn't pay attention to that. My bad. But no, I was only hired once, and I lost the job. Simple as that. Okay, but in November, you made a video saying you lost a city job. You made a video in November. Then in January, when you were in McDonald's, you were saying you lost a city job. And, it, and you were saying the same thing, that I lost it two weeks ago. I'm trying to figure out where that video that, is, because I don't remember. Well, you I got rid of the video. video. You got rid of that video. Um, and I think what, what what's frustrating is that, like it's the lying it's the lying like like Auburn was saying is that just be real with people you know battle be real if you you know if you want to try to do things to to raise money for yourself because there's nothing wrong with that you can battle and have fun and whatever build a following whatever but it's yeah. that you're lying and you know what did you mean because it's on record because i recorded myself and I, I'm, I'm not you know i'm not going by all of anyone else i was watching yeah. the live i was recording it and you said i have to run and grab a pill bottle to put them in and then after that you're like kyle said you went and got the mail he whispered it to you and you're like who who's mail so like th these lies that but I didn't say, but that see, I didn't say pill bottle. I just said I got to get a bottle to put them in. I didn't say pill bottle. I know I didn't say that. A bottle to put them in. So what type of bottle and what are you putting in it? What do you when? Are you talking about when I during said that? that? Yeah, during that live, like you went to get the mail. So you're putting mail in any type of bottle. No, I went to the bathroom. I said I went to the bathroom, and then I went to check the mail. And no, I okay, did say you... I had to get a bottle to put them in because I had just got done telling everybody that I had a headache and I had my broken to take. I did say that. But I didn't buy... That's what I'm trying to tell everybody. I didn't buy drugs from nobody. I didn't buy anything from anybody. For one... I mean, I know I you... Drugs, you I Hold on. If you're I bought not drugs, getting, okay, I wouldn't go have ahead. to... I wouldn't have the job that I got now. Okay. I don't Two, think I don't think you have that job personally, but go ahead. Oh, that's your opinion. Yeah, I know. I mean, anyway. I mean, you can you can say you have the job that doesn't, and you can say you know you took a piss test for it, but which wouldn't make sense because you got the call on Friday from her at four p.m. You said, and then you took the piss test that within a couple hours of getting the call. And everything came back and you were good to go and start Monday they piss tested me and then they tested it right there with the little dip thing that, that's all I'm saying right but you, you you're not taking into account the time frames you're giving you so you got the call at 4 p.m. on time Friday frame is irrelevant not everything is consistent time frame has nothing to do with how when you get a call and when you take a drug test if the company is hiring desperate for help though do it right then and there i, I mean that's how it happened when i worked for walmart right now, eastman is pretty right pretty hard Look, to get on isn't also, eastman pretty hard to get on do what isn't eastman hard to get on it's not like mcdonald's where they're desperately needing I to get anybody i can't hear 
No, I'm, I'm not saying, working for them. I'm working for a general contractor. That's not that does work out there. You said you were hired as maintenance and electrical technician for Eastman. Yeah, yeah, but not through them. I work I'm, and quit saying that on my live. Seriously, I don't want people, everybody knowing where I'm working. But anyways. And, oh, well, uh, I mean, you've said it several times. So, okay, I won't. I won't say and it again. I quit. I said it one time, and I quit saying it. But listen, to what I'm trying to say. Yes, I.
Yes. Hey, can you put 